This brake system comprises of ratchet-type levers with cables operating brake calipers similar to those used in mountain bikes. The brake pads grip on 140mm floating discs and are much more effective than old-style drum brakes. If the ratchet levers can be pulled up any further than the second step on the ratchet, the brakes need adjusting. The cables have no adjustment. Instead, there is an adjuster screw with a lock nut in the centre of the caliper arm. Use an 8mm spanner to loosen the lock nut by half a turn. Set the ratchet lever to lock on the first step. And use a 2.5mm Allen key in the centre adjuster screw to tighten the cable. When the desired position has been reached, re-tighten the 8mm lock nut, being careful not to change the position of the centre screw. You now need to re-centre the caliper. This is important as it prevents the brakes binding. Simply pull on the brake lever with one hand and screw in or out the two chrome centering screws. You will find a spot where they are quite loose. This is the spot to leave them. Check that the wheel spins without binding and locks on the first ratchet step. The discs are floating to allow them to run through the caliper without binding. Six M5 nylock nuts are tightened up against a shoulder, allowing the disc to float on its mounting. Disc brake setups are OK to retrofit to all earlier Neo wheelbases. You will need wheel, brake, cable and lever assemblages left and right to complete a swap over. The part number for this is ROL-DB10F.